Well, it, it, started, it was established in 1914 by my grandfather. Before then, at the same location or in a general location, they worked oysters. Then they, they saw there was a need for a general merchandise store. So my grandfather built it, this particular store, in 1914 now. So it's actually in the third generation, which, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to keep going. But, I mean, we've made it this far, and I don't know how long we can hold on. When the store was first built, actually, this was the big store. You know, people would say, well, we gotta, we're going to the big store. But actually, the people was all, some people that was around here, not really that far off because everything was done by water. So the people would come here by boat. And it was, a, it was an important place for the people because that was the only one. Or they had to travel so far by boat, you know. And then now, I mean, everybody has a couple of cars in that driveway, parked in that driveway, so they can drive. 50, 60 miles, it don't make no difference, you know, and they're going to save a buck, they're going to drive it, you know, it's not to say, well, we're not going to stop at the little store, he's too damn expensive, you know, where they'll go for a drive 30 miles to save a dollar. You'd say 7 to 80 percent of the people were actual residents of the area within the 10 miles, whereas now the, the, the people you'll see here is, has turned completely around, has done a 360. Um, the people you see now, the, the 70, 80 percent of people you see here now is outsiders, which uh, the, the, the actual residents here has gotten, has diminished a whole bunch. You know, I, I can't predict how soon, but eventually I seem to think where this is going to be some of, is going to be considered in some of the erosion like uh, Leeville, Grand Chenier going down toward uh, Grand Dow, where the, the graveyards are out into the water now, you know, which used to be on high land, used to graze. Well, you can see that here where cattle used to graze and they'd raise sugar cane. Now they're shrimping in it, you know, because it's big bays. And that's, it's, it's affecting us now because that's what I said earlier about some of the people leaving is because of the fact of the hurricanes and the, the, no protection for hurricane down here anymore. So people got tired of coming back to a house that's been flooded or whatever. So one question which they, they'll ask a lot, and they get amazed by it, is that they say, well, how about hurricanes? How has hurricanes affected y'all? It affects us like anyone else, but as far as water getting into the place, there was water in it once from hurricane in 1926 over the counter. That was water over the counter. That's the only time as far as we know that water has been in the place. You know. So it's actually built like on a ridge, on a high spot. Because I wouldn't advise none of my children <coughs> to, to keep it open. They can't, because you have to marry it. I mean, it's, you marry to it and it's, it's not real, the money's not there. You know, like it, like you could go on a job and make double or triple the money, you know, and have time off. You don't see that too often. You know, third generation, same family for a hundred years. It's, it's, a, it's something, something to accomplish, you know, in its own way, you know. We'll make it till next year for sure. If the Lord says it, you know, we're gonna we're gonna stay here till next year to make the hundred years.